In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we begin today the Lenten season. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, asks us to renew our faith, hope, and charity in this time. And through intensifying our prayers, almsgiving, sharing with one another our Lenten penance and sacrifices, then we can also intensify the virtues of faith, hope, and love. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpets in Zion, proclaim a fast, Call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation. Assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach, with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land, and took pity on his people. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, 
we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen. I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father, who sees what is hidden, will repay you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I thank everyone even those who are joining us through live streaming of this Mass, for taking time this morning to celebrate with us this Eucharist as we begin the Lenten season. It is good, my dear brothers and sisters, that today, Ash Wednesday, we will allow ourselves to be sprinkled with ashes, and it is good that we are doing this 
in the context of the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Listening first to God's Word, receiving communion, receiving the sacrament of the body of Jesus. In our Gospel reading today, Jesus extols the virtue of hiddenness, of being hidden. He said, if you are giving alms to people, do it in secret. Do not announce it. Do not even take pictures of it. Do it in secret. When you are praying, he said, do not allow anyone to see you praying. In fact, he said, go to your room and pray in secret. When you are fasting, he said, do not look sad or gloomy. Instead, look happy and clean. You must fast hidden and your Father who is hidden will repay you. I remember this year is uh, declared by Pope Francis to be the year of Saint Joseph. And he said in his letter instituting the year of Saint Joseph, he said that he was led to declare the year of Saint Joseph because Saint Joseph was an unnoticed worker. Saint Joseph was known for his hiddenness. He was discreet. He was unnoticed. And he said, in this time of pandemic, many of us are working hidden, in secret, unnoticed, but these workers are very important. Pope Francis said, the medical workers, most of them are usually hidden workers unnoticed workers but now they are highlighted their work their mission is given importance siguro po yung mga nurse na nagtatrabaho sa mga ospital many of them are hidden pero ngayon nabibigyan sila ng halaga Minsan nga, sinusungitan pa natin yung mga yan, di ba? Kapag alimbawa, pumunta ka ng ospital at hindi ka napansin agad ng nurse, nako, minsan masisigawan, mapapagalitan, minsan binibidyohan pa yung mga yan, no? Ah, ito yung nurse na hindi pumansin sa akin. Ito yung doktor na hindi pumansin sa akin. They are hidden, unnoticed. But now, they are given highlight, they are given importance because of their mission. Pope Francis said that this is very much like the life of Saint Joseph. He said, Saint Joseph was not mentioned many times in the Bible. In fact, his works was always unnoticed and very discreet. But for St. Joseph, hiddenness is not a hindrance to do righteousness. Hiddenness for St. Joseph was not a hindrance for righteousness, but in fact, hiddenness for St. Joseph is a way to righteousness. This is what we must learn from our gospel today. 
Jesus tells us, even if you are hidden, it does not mean that you will do evil things. But in fact, being hidden is a way to become holy and righteous. Like the example of Saint Joseph. Nakatago ka man, hindi ka man nakikita, hindi ka man napapansin, hindi man pinapansin ang iyong mga ginagawa, hindi ibig sabihin nito ay hindi ka nagagawa ng mabuti. Katulad ni San Jose, wala mang nakakakita sa kanya, hindi man siya pinapansin, gumagawa pa rin ng kalooban ng Diyos. Unfortunately, my dear brothers and sisters, when we are hidden, that is the time na tayo ay gumagawa ng kalokohan. <laughs> kapag walang nakakakita, kapag mag-isa ka lang, kapag nakatago, naku yan. <laughs> Diyan minsan lumalabas ang mga evildoers. Corruption happens when you are hidden. They do not know that you are stealing. You hide behind structures in order to corrupt millions and even billions of pesos because you are hidden. Murder happens when you are hidden. How many people have been murdered by people who are wearing masks, helmets, matapang kasi nakatago? How many trolls on social media, thousands who spread fake news, who create fake Facebook pages, anonymous Facebook pages, and they are spreading lies, rumors, divisions, matapang kasi nakatago ang mukha nila, walang pangalan, hindi mo nakikilala, matapang gumawa ng kalokohan dahil nakatago. But this is not Jesus. This is not Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph, even if he was hidden, it was not a hindrance for him to do good and to fulfill righteousness. Many of us are hidden right now hidden behind our face masks, hidden behind our face shields. Many of us are working at home. Many of us are studying at home. Yung mga nag-aaral sa eskwelahan, mga nanonood siguro ngayon ng mga estudyante, you are studying from home. Are you really studying? Oh, magandang tanongin yan sa mga estudyante, no? Nobody is looking at you. You are not in your classroom. The teacher is not there physically. Are you really studying? Or because you are hidden, ah, matutulog mo na ako, no? I will just put this on and I will just sleep. For those who are teaching from home, teachers, the principal is not looking at you. The supervisors are not there to supervise you. Are we really giving everything even if we are hidden? My dear brothers and sisters, hiddenness should not be a hindrance to righteousness. But in fact, hiddenness, like St. Joseph, should lead to righteousness. Later on, we will be uh, 
sprinkling the ashes on our heads. Because of the pandemic, it will not be possible for us to do the usual uh, putting of the ash on our foreheads. Many are frustrated, actually. Father, nakasanayan kasi namin na nandito yung abo sa noo namin. Gusto kasi namin makikita ng tao. Mas maganda kasi, Father, kapag nakikita namin, iba ang pakiramdam kapag nakikita namin yung abo sa noo namin. But today, the ash will be hidden on top of your head. No one will see it. No one will recognize that you have already attended Ash Wednesday Mass. But please, even if the ash is hidden on top of your head and no one sees that you have attended Ash Wednesday, please, this should not hinder us to do good today. Sana kahit nakatago ang abo sa mga buhok at ulo natin, wag pa rin kakain ng litsyon kawali ngayong tanghalian. Nako, baka sabihin nyo, ah, nakatago naman yung abo sa ulo, no? Kukurot ako ng kaunting litsyon kawali sa kantin, no? O baka dahil nakatago, iinom pa rin ako ng soft drinks, yung aking paboritong matamis ngayong tanghali na ito. Kasi nakatago naman yung abo. No one will see that I am Catholic and that I have attended by Ash Wednesday Mass. My dear brothers and sisters, hiddenness should not lead you to hide and do evil things. Hiddenness, said Jesus, should always fulfill righteousness. My dear brothers and sisters, today, Ash Wednesday, we spend in prayer, in helping the poor, in fasting and penance, let us spend this quiet time to reflect, pray, and share with one another. And remember, even if we are hidden, even if our actions are hidden, God, our Father, sees them, and hiddenness should always lead us to righteousness. Amen. Please stand. The penance of Lent has begun. The sign of the blessed ashes invites us to respond to the God who calls us to come back to Him with all our heart. Let us bring before the Father our desire for renewal. For every petition, let us say, Father, draw us back to You. Father, draw us back to You. That as we enter this season of Lent, we as a church may join Christ in his act of sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, draw us back to you. That we may discipline ourselves by fasting and self-denial. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father draw, draw us, us back, back to you. you. That we may not close our eyes to the needs of the poor, by practical almsgiving and concrete generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father draw, draw us back, back to you. That we may seek the sacrament of penance, especially in this season of grace and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father draw, draw us back, back to you. That we may show special care for the sick, and those abandoned by society. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, draw us back to you. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions 
and for the intentions offered in this Mass. God of mercy and compassion, look upon the petitions of your penitent people. May the ashes that we receive today truly symbolize our commitment to do your will. May our self-denial express our desire to die to self that we may live your divine life in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Our uh, offerings for this Mass, all the collections will be given to the feeding program of the Archdiocese of Manila for our poor and malnourished children in different communities. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of, of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank everyone for joining us in this celebration and even those who are joining us through online streaming of this Mass. And we would like to invite everyone tonight, Wednesday evening, our Healing Rosary for the World will be led by the community of uh, Nuestra Señora de la Soledad Parish here in Camba, Binondo. And uh, we invite again everyone this evening as we spend this day in prayer it is good that we will end the night by praying the Holy Rosary together for the healing of the world. We will now have the blessing of ashes. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that He be pleased to bless with the abundance of His grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observances, 
they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the imposition of ashes on our heads. My dear brothers and sisters, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. the uh -huh. 